happy friday yes today is another flaming hot friday i hope your friday goes nothing short of amazing as it should go now friends my shabby life is back and she is back with part eight so you know your girl had to do a reaction to that and in continuance of the jazzathon of course my jazzy life reigns queen once again to the throne of the hot seat okay with that being said let's roll the clips y'all ask me like why would y'all have kids if you know who's on probation first of all this is our life we're gonna do what we want to do okay i wanted a different life than this i didn't want to deal with in and out of jail and stuff and it's like i wanted more I really want more and I feel like I'm just not getting exactly what I wanted. See, the thing is, Jazz, you have to be extremely careful with what you put out into the universe. You were very confident and sure of yourself when you said, well, this is our life to only in turn regret your decision later. As always, you had complete control of your destiny and you drop the ball, not only for your children, but for yourself. And it's honestly sad. And I hope things do get better for you. And I also want to add that I don't think that it's entirely your fault because Philip does play a major role. But you knew exactly who you were dealing with and you knew exactly what you were getting into when you chose to lay down with a bum, with a felon who just couldn't get it together for the sake of his family. So you have to hold yourself accountable for the way your life has turned out, unfortunately. Shirt that's not mine. Yeah. Who shirt you got on, Kaylin? Kaylin's nice yeah. shirt. Oh, monkeys. Wait, is the noodle all gone? Is it all gone? I don't know if I said it. I know a lot of people are asking what happened to her eye. That, yeah. So a lot of people are asking like what happened to her eye. She fell. Uh, she fell in the bathtub and slipped and bumped her face. Okay, so I'm not going to pretend that accidents don't occur with small children, especially at the age that Amaya was at the time of the incident. However, I will say there is absolutely no fucking way your small child should be slipping and falling in a tub and getting a black eye when her mother should have been sitting right there, bathing her, attending to her, and protecting her. She could have drowned. And we all know, we've seen in many vlogs, you walking away doing other things while your children, your small children, are sitting in a fucking bathtub. And this is exactly why I think the people who defend you and call you a good mother are pieces of shit themselves because there is no fucking way you can honestly believe that if you're a good person and or a good mother and i'm gonna leave it at that what is it hold on mine wants to say hi. Hi. Hi, hi, hi this baby was always bruised hi, 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 hi. so i'm just like mm, sad Oh my goodness. And I didn't get any plates, like extra. Maya, come on. Stop doing that and clean up. I don't know. It's time for her to go to bed, y'all. I never said I didn't like you. I just said I want you to clean up. Can you please do that? Okay, Jazz. I know you think we're all as slow as you are, but there is absolutely no way you are getting away with that. First of all, that baby isn't going to make something like that up. Clearly, you told her you didn't like her. Oh, shit, we've actually seen you say it on video. So why are you trying to lie and save face? And this is why I feel like you deserve everything you have coming to you. Because what the fuck you put those children through, especially Amaya. And speaking of, if you haven't seen my video, My Jazzy Life, Is It That Hard to Love Amaya? Please go check it out because the proof is in the pudding and jazz. Every time you ask yourself, why does everybody hate me? Why are they reacting to me? Why are they commenting? Come back and watch this video. Click on My Shabby Life. 
click on my channel, click on many other channels that are available on this platform and see the piece of shit you are, work on it and move on. And there you have it, friends. You just witnessed her call this baby ugly like her daddy right to her face. What a piece of shit you are, Jazz, honestly. And like we've all suspected, there has to be some connection between Amaya and the trauma that Jazz experienced with Philip, which makes her honestly hate the little girl. I don't know what it is. And in my opinion, I think that she hates her honestly because she resembles Asia's children so much and it reminds her of Philip's infidelity, if you will, because they aren't married. But yeah, I think that's what it is. But who who am I? Just my opinion. No. But I had to close my door. I need it a long time. I don't want to see any older kids. Okay, so sometimes a mom just needs a break, right? We all know that. We all are well aware of that. Sometimes you just have to lock yourself away for a minute or two, right? But that's the thing, Jazz. You overdo it. I remember this vlog and you were in that bathroom way too fucking long with those children outside begging to get in. It's disgusting. Anything could have happened. And this is why your children are always running around with black eyes and broken limbs because you are negligent. You do not attend to your children. And then the nerve of you to say, I don't want to see any of the older children. So you're basically, specifically, separating Kaylin and Amaya from the twins. Per usual, we all know this. You really despise those girls. And for all of the bitches in the back that go so hard for her, if this clip doesn't wake you up, then I don't know what the fuck will. Um, can I just make me like a little bit of waffles? Like eat like a quick waffle? No. You can get you some water. You just ate. And I'm not gonna clean up that Mexican. No, I just I no. Mm -mm. You can get you some water if you're thirsty. If you if you're hungry, water will help that too. I don't see why you would be hungry, but you can get some water. This really broke my heart because she's always on camera, lying, saying that these children ate, but yet they're always begging for food. If that baby wasn't really hungry and she was just being greedy, she would have asked for a snack, not to make a fucking waffle, you disgusting piece of shit. Like seriously, go and drink some water that'll help with your hunger. That's why those babies are malnourished now, because of shit like this. One thing I can say about Philip, when them children used to say they were hungry, that man would go in the kitchen real quick and bowl a hot dog, <laughs> real quick. Jazz, you're honestly a poor excuse for a mother. And this is why the heat is on you. And honestly, I hope it stays. I hope it stays until you realize and take full accountability for the piece of shit that you are to those children. Chili, it's about Chili's money all the time. But I'm hungry, uh... Girl, you ate. My mama. Ava. Ava, no, no. <laughs> Tell her no, no. <laughs> Maya, go in the room and help Kaylin clean up that room. No, go help her clean up. I'm not making nothing until y'all go clean up. Oh, I go tell her to help. Go help her. I just fix. Go do it. I just fix y'all's beds. No, they're not getting anything to clean that room. How can anyone in their right mind defend a person like this? How dare you deny her food? because she hasn't cleaned her room. She's like six months in this fucking clip. Are you kidding me? Are you joking? Clearly the baby is hungry. You could see it all in her face. And then here she goes again with the lion. Y'all just ate. Well, clearly they didn't eat a fucking enough. And we've seen what you feed them and they never eat enough. That's the problem. They never eat enough. You get enough compensation for those children 
Why is it so hard for you to give them an adequate amount of food to nourish their little bodies? You really are a special fucking case. Keep calling weekly, da da da. No. And they're just gonna. Mommy, no. I gave you milk. Is it on the table? Go look on the table. Your cup is on the table. You drink it all? Now you're asking for juice. Okay, I'm gonna turn Paw Patrol off. Mommy, I get Mommy. What, baby? You just keep calling my name. I meant to just. Mommy. I'm looking dead at you. What is it? Okay. Now you want a chip. I feel like you just want it because you know it's in there. You know that? No stereo. She wants it because she's fucking starving and probably dehydrated because all you do is stuff Lunchables and chicken nuggets down her fucking throat. That's why she continuously asks for something to drink and eat. One. Mommy. I have a what? You gotta find a one that has Mommy. like the in house that has a nice house, big space, Mama. especially for that kind. Of Ava, what? Practice. What? You had sausage already. You know, you didn't tell me you wanted everything in the house. What? You want to read a book? Book? Okay, can we lay down in your bed and read it? No. <laughs> so where do you want to read that? On the couch? On the couch. Okay, did you clean up your mess on the couch? Uh, no. Go clean it up. Uh-uh. Okay, well then no book. <laughs> you want to read a book, go clean up. Like, the table with. There was a, a yellow towel. You're gonna pick all that up, right? Here, use this towel. It's a towel right there, but here, use this one. This is one. Since you're using bleach. <laughs> Make sure you wet it a little bit, though. Don't let your children use bleach. It's okay. She'll be all right. She has gloves. She's okay. I have never wanted to reach through my phone so fucking bad before. Are you seriously having this child clean up with bleach? And then you had the nerve to have your stupid looking ass in the camera and tell someone that she'll be okay. She has gloves. You are really the fucking worst. That's like, let's see, that's the room, the kitchen. The dish, my husband dishes, you're cleaning the, you, cl you mop the floors, you, what is she doing? Clean the table, the bathroom. That's like six stickers. Girl, I'm not cleaning nothing. I told them I'm not, they messed up my house, so they were going to clean it today. Even though today is my days that I clean, like deep clean, I was like, uh uh. They jacked it up today, so they're going to fix it. Are you dead ass telling your six-year-old to mop your dirty, disgusting floors? And you wonder why we come on here and call you nasty, filthy, dusty, disgusting? <laughs> you really wonder why? Who in their right mind is going to have a little baby mopping their floors? Like at this point, I'm ready to put on a neck tag and <laughs> knock on your door myself. Knock, knock, knock. Hello, CPS. I'm here for the baby slaves because I can't. Like, it's really disturbing. Kayla, what are you doing? Yeah. Don't get your butt whooped. Don't not. I accidentally did it. Hold on, y'all. You really laid your brolic ass right there while your baby was screaming that her eyes got sprayed with bleach you fucking idiot you didn't even consider ending that live jumping up and flushing her eyes out no of course you didn't i really and i hate to say this but i really don't know why god made you a mother there are so many struggling women who struggle with fer infertility issues and they would be the greatest moms but yet you a total piece of negligent shit have four friends do you see this this poor baby is in here working so hard 
to clean that bathroom. This is the saddest thing I have ever seen in my life. There is absolutely no way a six-year-old should be responsible for all of this. Absolutely no way. Jazz, what are you doing besides spraying Clorox for your six-year-old to fucking wipe up? Are you kidding me? Like, now I understand. Everyone who calls CPS, I totally get it now. And I don't take that lightly because I wouldn't want it done to me. But I totally understand. Now, look at this baby. There is no fucking way. You bought, like, Did you, okay, so is it clean? Is it clean? Why are you in here right now? Because I was really unhappy when I went in that kitchen. Well, I can't something. I can't clean the cabinet. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I said that stuff you had on the floor. Let me go cheer. Amaya, you better go make sure your toys are up because you know I'm on a rampage. I go in there throwing stuff away. Okay. Yeah, you better check your room. Your baby dolls better be up. Hey, hey sending love from Canada. Maya, take your butt in there now and help. But, uh, Don't butt me, bye. Jazz, do you realize you are talking to a six-year-old right now? You were unhappy when you walked in the kitchen. Well, guess what? Most of us are unhappy every time you upload one of your bullshit ass cleaning videos because you can't clean for shit. How does that feel? And you have the nerve to be telling a child she didn't clean correctly. You're 46 and you can't fucking clean. The only sunny day. Why are you in here? So it's clean there? No, because I had that living room spick and span. Everything was clean. Who are you? My shabby life, shout out to you. Thank you for this reminder because when I tell you, Jazz, I am on your ass like I never have been before because this video right here ignited a fucking flame. Do you hear me? It ignited a flame. I cannot believe how verbally abusive you are to these children. And quite frankly, this isn't anything but child labor, which is fucking illegal. Take note. I don't have a boyfriend. Well, you need one. So you yeah, have a plan. So you, so you can... So you can like, like you know, you gotta help. You gotta help. You gotta help. But you look, you have a bad girl right here. A uh, a girl who does not like cleaning up and two bad babies. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You see, guys, Kaylin is so tired. She has been tired of being a slave for so long. She's already exhibiting signs of childhood trauma and she hasn't even lived her childhood yet to its full potential this is so sad and this is clearly signs of abuse it doesn't have to be physical abuse but it is definitely a form of abuse and jazz if you don't try and correct this now your children will forever be damaged as you are and it's very sad you can be in denial all you want but like I said, the proof is in the pudding. Bro. Hey, I'm serious. Get up. Get it clean. This ain't no chill while mama clean up everybody mess, day. Dude. I don't know who y'all think I am. I want to sit down and relax too. I want to prop my feet up. So don't make me come in there. Don't make me and you sit down and you too. Okay, let's shut up and clean up. Talk back to me again. Okay, guys, this is a very serious matter. <laughs> but did it not like kill you when she said shut up and get it done <laughs> like it just reminded me of like a football coach or something i just had to say that because i literally almost spit my coffee out but jazz what the fuck do you mean you want to sit down and prop your feet up you gave up the right to sit down relax and prop your feet up when you chose to lay on your stupid slow back and pop four children out you understand that right you're a mom now get it the fuck together they should never be responsible for cleaning your entire house 
That is literally child labor, you fucking idiot. Quick little disclaimer. I know it sounds like I was saying prep your feet up, but I was actually saying prop for a fact. And also, you may hear the volume going up and down, and that's because uh, certain clips I raised the volume so you guys could hear what's going on in the background. See, the marshmallows are treats. I always, we use this for Kaylin. She used to didn't like them, but now she likes them. So you clean up, you clean each room. Well, you clean up everything. You get a marshmallow. If you're in bed by like, and you don't fuck with me. But we usually do M&Ms, and then I do these candies. What are they call? Hold on. I use these for Caitlin. And it's she is, candy. If you get each one for each room we clean up. So we clean the bathroom up, your room, and the living room, yeah. or the dining whatever else. You know, even if it might be something little, then you get three of them. Okay, friends, this is where I decided to be completely done with the damn video because I cannot, which as this girl really believes that her children are fucking puppies and it is quite disturbing. You get a treat and what the fuck is a marshmallow? What kid says, hey, yay, I'm getting a marshmallow. Nobody wants a damn marshmallow unless it's in hot chocolate, you idiot. I can't believe that she's actually speaking to them or about them like they're puppies and you wonder why the, the twin is running around barking <laughs> no shade but honestly i am done at this point guys <laughs> i hope you understood where i'm coming from and again please excuse my french but this was so frustrating with that being said friends you already know the vibes like what you like comment and subscribe if you aren't already and i will talk to you down below and in the next video